Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to ESL Nerds. Uh, today we are going to do an all level introduction to uh, one of my favorite grammar topics, verbs. Uh, so let's get started. A new part of speech is what is it, right? So what is a verb? Well, the easy answer, right, is that it's a thing that you can do. Um, but that's not really a very good answer. <laughs> um, because verbs are often not things that you do. So things to do and sort of like, uh, we could say maybe ways to be, <laughs> right? Like, I feel tired, that's, that's not really a thing that I do, right? But for now, we're gonna focus on things to do and we'll get back to ways to be. Um, so, <laughs> what are some of the different things you can do, right? You can read, drink, Play on your phone, play video games, play music, drink coffee, take a nap, listen to music, right? All of the things that we enjoy every day are, are verbs. Um, the important thing to pay attention to when we start uh, learning about how verbs work is uh, verb forms. Nobody likes verb forms. It's okay. They're still important. We have base form, which is the form uh, that you're going to see when you look something up in the dictionary. We also have present and past. Those are easy, right? And then we have present participle and past participle. Those are a little harder. Some of our verbs get really weird, um, like be, for example, right? Be has one base form. Everything has one base form, but it has a lot of different present forms, right? Is, am, are, right? Three different present forms. Past, it has two forms. B is the only verb that has two forms in the past. Uh, was and were. Present participle, we don't use this one too much being, and then our past participle is been. Now, let's look at a normal verb. Um, let's take, for example, uh, play, right? Play video games. The present for that is play or plays. The past is played. Present participle playing. Past participle is played, which is the same as the past, right? For regular verbs, the past participle and the past are the same. Uh, for irregular verbs, they're different. Let's look at another irregular verb, uh, but a, a slightly more regular than the irregular verb. So how about drink, right? Present drink or drinks, past drank, present participle, drinking, past participle is drunk. 
That's right. That's where that word comes from. <laughs> the past participle of drink is drunk. Now, <laughs> let's look at a few examples, uh, and then we'll talk a little about verb tense. Gwen is playing Nintendo Switch. Okay. We have a present participle for play there, playing. And we've got be in present, is. Right? Let's do another one. Spider Punk plays guitar. Right? He does. That is just, right, present for play. Let's use another verb. Spider-Man fell asleep. All right. That's fall in the past, fell, another irregular verb. One more. Spider-Man 2099 has listened to old music. You can't tell, but listen here is actually in past participle. Uh, and we see we have the verb have in present there too. Now we do use all of these verb forms, but we use them for different things. Um, one thing I want to point out first is that S in our present forms, right? The present S. <laughs> we actually call this the third person singular S. So what that means is I, right, one person, talk to you a second person, about a third singular person, right? Spider punk is that third person. I, Corey, am talking to you, who's watching my YouTube video, about spider punk, right? There's just one spider punk, he's singular. Third person singular verbs in the present, get an S. Um, irregular verbs sometimes do that in a weird way, um, but they still do it. Is has an S. Has, right, for have, has an S. A third person singular S. There we go. Now, uh, let's talk for just a minute today about tense. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to answer it in your head and later if you want in the comments section below. Um, how many verb tenses are there in English? If you've taken a lot of English classes, you might have several different answers. Uh, some people say eight, some people say 12. Um, it's really kind of all over the place. Uh, my answer, uh, and I am willing to, to defend my answer, is two. We have two verb tenses in English, present and past. Right? Everything else is aspect. Uh, this is kind of a high level uh, grammar idea, uh, but I promise I will explain it this week in a way that everyone can understand. Let's talk just a little bit about our two tenses. So present, right? is all about what happens 
all the time, right? Often people think about present tense as things that are going on right now, um, but that's generally uh, progressive, which is an aspect. So present is all the time. Uh, we use it for things like habits, routines, things that are always true. Those are present. Past is for things that happened in the past and are finished. When we look at more aspects later, um, knowing whether or not something has finished can actually be pretty important. Um, so we, we will come back to that idea. All right, this has been our preview of um, verbs. Uh, again, there's gonna be verbs, verbs take a while, so look forward to verbs for a while. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed learning about verb tenses with some help from the Spider-Verse. Um, we're going to be continuing to learn about verb tenses. Uh, from here on, we're going to be slipping out of this sort of all level, and I'm going to have some videos at a higher level and some videos at a lower level. I think it'll be a little easier. Um, take care. I'll see you later on. Uh, please like and subscribe.